where exactly, but we do have a date right now. It's uh, it's this coming October 15. Um, I'm not yet sure um, which country will host, but um, there's a big chance that we will bring it back to the Philippines and we'll be exploring or we'll be showcasing more of the south side of the Philippines, which is Mindanao. We've always been, again, um, Misters have always been in the Philippines. We've showcased a lot of um, islands, a lot of uh, places in the Philippines, but we've never really showcased Mindanao yet. And now that we have a new government and he's also a Mindanaoan, um, President Duterte is from Davao. We're thinking of maybe showing Davao, showing uh, the best of Mindanao. And um, yeah, uh, I think it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Let's go back in time a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the uh, first is how did you get involved with the mm -hmm. environment causes? And at the same time, where are you from in the Philippines? And what were your environmental concerns at the mm -hmm. time and up to the present time? Actually, it's the long journey for me. Um, I was one of those people who really don't know anything about, the, nothing much about the environment, honestly. I only know about it. Um, through, through through the things that their, our teachers teach us in school and I would hear about it on television but really to have a compassion about it um, I don't think I was able to realize all that until I was part of the pageant which is actually a, a, just I think that's the purpose of the pageant you know just to reach out people like me and now that I am an ambassador it makes all the difference like I know I could somehow have this idea on how I can also reach out to, to who I was before because again I was one of those people who really don't know much and it's very important that we do these things in our own little ways. Um, and wait, going back, um, I I um, I really didn't like pageantry before. I didn't, I loved watching it, but I never really imagined that I'm going to be part of it until I was growing older and older. And in the Philippines, I'm actually taller than usual, so I would get this. Um, uh, uh, people would push me to like, why don't you join? Why don't you try this one? Why don't you try that one? And so I did. And. The people around me was really, really persistent, thinking that I could actually be a beauty queen and be be, um, be an influence to others. I didn't know what um, which pageant before I joined one, two, and I didn't even win the first two times. But you know, I don't know what God God's purpose was until I became Miss Philippines Earth and eventually Miss Earth. So everything has a purpose. I'm just so happy to be where I am right now. And guess so what? Is. I'm in the United States. Uh -huh. And what is your platform? <laughs> For the platform, um, I was representing Manila before. I was born in Manila, but I grew up in Iloilo City. So I also know how to, uh, to speak um, Iligaynon. But uh, recently, I, I, I went back to Manila to study college. And in Manila, um, when I joined Miss Philippines Earth, our, our, uh, our, our theme was about... Um, um, uh, Wait, I have to think about that. Um, it's ecotourism. So in Manila, there's not much ecotourism anymore because again, it's a very crowded city. It's already a city and not much um, nature that you can actually push for. So I, I, I turned to um, um, advocating about um, the, the usual ones, which are, are gar garbage, like um, reduce, reuse, recycle, the usual ones. And I'm just so happy to be part of our new um, uh, uh, advocacy from We Are. We now call it the Five R. So we have rethink. We have to rethink the things that we we do every day. The decisions we make. Do I really need this? Do I really need both? Is one just enough? So rethinking about the decisions is very important. And then we reduce, um, reuse, recycle. And I think the last R would be the most important one, which is respect more than love, it's really respect. If we know how to respect our environment, um, then we wouldn't do anything to hurt her. And after all, she's called Mother Earth for the reason. Because like our mothers, she deserves the same respect. <laughs> it must have been a great privilege and an honor for you. You won oh in Vienna. Yes. And uh, that was a challenging was a, competition. Yes, and it was a historic back-to-back -back win. It was the first time in the history of Miss Earth that a back-to-back -back ever happened. So I, before me was also from the Philippines. Her name is Miss Jamie Harrell from Cebu. And she won in the Philippines. And then on the fifth, again, on our 15th anniversary, we went to Vienna last year, last um, December 5. I was very, very blessed enough to um, 
to, to get the crown and have that first back-to-back -back win. It's so magical. <laughs> Again, it will have a special place in my heart forever. <laughs> Do you remember the question that was asked to you? Yes, um, the question was if you're given a chance to uh, make a slogan um, for Miss Earth, because for 15 years now, the slogan of Miss Earth is Beauty's for a Cop. So if given a chance to give a new slogan for the next 15 years, what would it be and why? And I answered, um, it would be we will because we can. Like everything is feasible, everything is possible as long as we work together. And then I just said it the same. The same. <laughs> we will because we can, with conviction, of course. <laughs> so that was the winning answer that got me the crown. Truly wonderful. Now, um, what were your challenges in preparing for the Miss Earth International? Had there been some difficulties and things that you had to give up? Oh, a lot. I mean, I had to um, delay my graduation last year. Um, I was already... Um, uh, finishing my paper but I needed to go to Vienna um, so I had to um, uh, had, I had to wait I, I know education for me is very important I mean I'm a working student I I, 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 I work really hard for my education and um, it would it was before I, be, I dream of becoming a beauty queen it was my dream to wear that toga you know but I had to set this aside for a while and uh, you know because I was given this opportunity that not everybody can get and um, the challenge probably is that because it was Philippines who won the year before me and not everybody even though they love me I would somehow feel like they are not that hundred percent confident that I could, you know, win the crown, and I have, I would even have one um, delegate from another country telling me a few hours before coronation that she feels sad and bad for me because she feels that I won't win, even though I deserve it. I don't know how to feel. Like, am I going to be happy because you told me I deserve to win, or am I going to be sad because you told me I, I won't win? But you know, God is really good, and um, if it's really for you, then He's really going to give it to you. So. Yeah, and one more thing would be the cold in Vienna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was so cold because we went there in November until December. Mm -hmm. and, but still, I'm happy and just glad um, that I was able to compete in Vienna. And I saw my first snow, so what more can I ask for? I have the crown with me. I mean, it's amazing, it's amazing. And, and I can't believe it's almost done. Yeah. <laughs> And does it involve a lot of traveling for you and speaking to groups of people about your environmental yes, platform? Speaking, that's why uh, um, in Miss Earth we really look for a girl who knows how to talk, who knows how to speak with or without scripts. I mean, sometimes, well, actually not only sometimes, most of the time you'll, you, you'll be given a chance to speak. And it would be like uh, impromptu most of the times. Like they would just call you because you're there and just want, it, want you to, to say something. And that's why you're Miss Earth anyways, you know? Um, yeah, I've, I've had a lot of speaking engagement. I've had a lot of tree plantings as well. I mean, I, I, have, I have lost track of how many trees I've actually planted. And um, traveling, I'm just starting again, but uh, I started with um, Reunion Island. Mm -hmm. That was my first official one. Then I went to Vietnam, and now I'm here in the United States. After this, I will go. I'll go straight to Colombia with Miss mm -hmm. Miss Earth Water Brittany from the United States. After Colombia, um, I'll be going to Sri Lanka as well. After Sri Lanka, I'll be going to Mauritius, and then I have pending ones too. Um, I'm not sure when exactly India or Vietnam again. Uh, yeah, uh, I have a lot of things lined up, but with limited time, I'm I'm. I'm just praying that I could get to visit everyone and say hi mm -hmm. before coronation. <laughs> and even after all these very hectic schedules, mm -hmm. you will be pursuing your environmental issues and concerns Definitely. for the community. I think that's what makes uh, Miss Earth so special to every winner. Like it really changes you. Um, I won't be a hypocrite that I don't. I won't be using this and that because it's bad for the environment. You know, um, it's just sad that people tend to. Uh, uh, they compromise for comfort and convenience, 
but you know each, I believe that each and every one of us can do something for the environment like me for example I think the most humble uh, thing I can do uh, aside from of course respecting the environment is get, getting rid of straws I mean personally I don't use straw anymore um, it's a small deed but it goes a long way so if each of us gets to do a small deed for the environment it's going to create a bigger and greater impact who will Angela Ong and where will she be five, ten years from now? Oh my god, I mean, um, five, ten years from now, I think Angelia will be having her own show. <laughs> Probably a travel magazine show where she gets to explore the world and get to educate and um, inspire people and create awareness of how beautiful our planet Earth is and how we can take care of it and how we can enjoy uh, enjoy the things that God has given us, uh, how we can be a good steward of this beautiful gift that we just borrowed. Again, even our lives are borrowed, so we don't, we don't have the right to destroy any of it, not even a single one. So, yeah, I see her uh, seeing the world a better one. <laughs> Angela, what do you think are the three things that are very, mo very, very important in life to become successful in any field of endeavor? I think it's very important that you know what you want, so that you know your goals. You, you will do the uh, so you know your path. It's very important that you know what you want. Secondly, I think it's also very important that um, the sincerity. Um, be sincere in everything you do. I mean, I think the truth is always the right way. Um, always um, remember why you're doing it. And um, the last one would be you should. It's so hard to pick the last one. Um, I think you need to be happy. I think if you have contentment in your heart, you know how to show gratitude. Once you have that in your heart, you'll, you'll be fulfilled. And whether you think you're already there or not, I think just by being um, a, the person that you are already, I mean, I think that's being successful too. And two, yes, that's never worth And give it back to God, of course. Wonderful. <laughs> and two final questions. As Miss Earth International for 2015, mm -hmm. let us say that you were invited to speak uh, yes. to a big group of international audience to speak at the United Nations. I actually did that. Yes, before you in did. Vienna oh, because, tell us, um, yes. Um, uh, apparently, um, United Nations have a headquarters in Vienna, and I was very lucky to be one of the chosen ones, a few chosen delegates to be, to be given the chance to have a few minutes and you know speak to to them. It was really amazing. Like who who does that? <laughs> Not everybody gets to have that chance, and so I was representing Asia at the time. So I told them about what's happening in this part of the world. And I was telling them that you know this is a war that won't be won that that can't be won with you know um, guns or bombs. This is a war between us and ourselves and each other. This is a war that can only be won through compassion. This is a war that can be won through understanding and accepting that there is really a problem and there is also a solution. That we all be part of the solution. Um, yeah. Respecting the environment is very, very important. Any particular bills that you would 